Hello again, thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is David Charles, International Psychic Medium and White Witch. Today, we're doing a reading for you entitled, Will I Be Lucky in Love? Will you be lucky in love? Would you like to know? Stay with me. We're doing a short pick a card tarot reading for you. And after that, we go on to stage 22 of the Old England Tarot School Diploma course. And today, we're looking at the Eight of Cups. And you'll like that one. They're all good. So look forward to doing that with you after the readings. So in a few moments, I've got uh, seven packs of cards here, tarot cards. I'm going to choose one of those and we'll do a short reading for you. Can you guess which one I'll choose? See you in a second. Welcome back. Did you choose the right one? That was the one that was there and here it is. And we're going to do for you a short reading called Will You Be Lucky in Love? And it's a pick a card reading. It's a timeless reading. As psychics say, it doesn't have dates. So the reading will be yours whenever you find it. You can find it tomorrow, next week or next year. Doesn't matter. You'll find the reading when you're meant to and you will be choosing the cards, I hope. So, will you be lucky in love? Don't forget, after this, we're doing stage 22 of the Old England Tarot School Diploma course, where you'll learn tarot cards and learn things about the tarot that you cannot learn anywhere else. No course, no video can show you. This is a proper tarot course. So, there we have four packs of cards, four little stacks of cards, and they're numbered one, two, three, and four. I'd like you to pick one. Which one do you fancy? Would you like number one or two? Would you like three or four? Is it a lucky number? Is it one that feels right? Take your time, pause the video if you want. And when you've picked your card stack, we'll start with number one. And that's this one here. So just push those over there a little bit. Number one, will you be lucky in love? Now I'm looking here now the next few months ahead. I won't say how many months, probably three or four, but it will vary on depending on, on your own particular circumstances. I believe that you will be lucky in love, number one, but I think a lot of you already are, so not all of you, but one or two of you are okay at the moment, but things are changing for you, and I think that the uh, man or woman you're around is quite a solid, dependable person, which is not the case in quite a lot of readings that I do. I think that's why people have readings, because there's problems. But I think the lover you're with, or the lover you're about to find, number one, is solid. I think he or she is reliable. I think he or she is very clever. And I believe moderately successful as well. And if they're not, then they will be soon. There are one or two hiccups, but I think, I think one or two of you are planning to get married. And I think that may have been lingering around for a while while you decide on the dates, maybe because of the coronavirus, I don't know, but it seems that there may have been a pause or a hesitance in your particular marriage plans or moving in together plans. It may not be the actual word marriage with the paperwork and all that. <clears throat> but I think one or two of you are planning a wedding soon. And I think within the next two or three months that will happen if you've been planning it. If not, then now is a good time to make those plans. If he or she has asked you to marry them, or you asked him or her to marry you, I think it's a good time. Not wonderful and everything coming to, or to fruition at once, but it's a very reasonably good time for you. And uh, there will be reason for you to be happy as well. I think within the next two or three months, your happiness will increase a little bit. I think you're, you've been a little bit sad lately. Not depressed or anything like that, but I think your happiness is growing. There's a lot of worry around some of you, number one. I don't know why you're worrying, because I can't pick up a reason from the spirit that you should be worrying. So you may be a bit of a worrier. Maybe some of you are water signs or just the typical water sign worriers. You may not actually be a water sign, but some of the water signs, particularly Pisces, tend to be worriers sometimes and Cancerians. So try not to worry too much. Don't get sleepless nights, especially if you're worrying about romance, because it's fairly good. I don't necessarily think that you're with your soulmate, but as I often say in these readings, that's quite 
rare anyway. Soul mates are not found every day where you can pick them off a tree. And your soul mate, of course, can be your sister or your brother. But I think one or two of you, uh, not all of you, as I said, one or two of you may be a bit trapped or, or may feel as though you're trapped. Or one or two of you may feel as though you're being entrapped into this marriage and you don't want it. So there's a few uh, variations here. A lot of you, I think, will be happy or happier than you've been. And a few of you may feel like you're being rushed into it a little bit. And uh, your partner may be ignoring things that are not quite right. The one you're planning to spend time with. But will you be lucky in love? I think yes is the answer. I don't think it's like winning the lottery, overflowing with joy and emotion. But there will be reason to, to be happy, number one. I just think that if you want happiness in love, you've got to let go of some of the past problems because you've been let down in the past, as most people have, of course. I think if you want to be lucky in love, number one, you've got to sort of allow it to happen. You may be a little bit closed off from it. You may be expecting things to go wrong because they've always gone wrong in the past. And the spirit world is saying to me that everything is there for you, but you've got to see it. You've got to stop missing the boat, missing the opportunities. See what positives you do have rather than searching for or concentrating on the negatives. I know that you will know what that means, number one, if it applies to you. It's a general reading, so it won't apply to everybody. But generally speaking, number one, I think the partner you're cho you've chosen or has chosen you, whichever way around, or you've chosen each other, I think this person, he or she, is quite reliable. I think they're quite respected, reasonably successful. And they're the sort of person that people talk about and they talk about them in a nice way. They can trust them. So please subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel, number one. Share me with your friends on social media. Please click like and... Um, Make some comments below, please, because they do help, and I do answer all of them. And a lot of people email me, of course. And, of course, if you want a full psychic reading, go to my website, davidchildspsychic.com, where I'll be happy to give you a reading. And if I'm not free, one of the team that work for me will, and they're all brilliant. Of course, if you need witchcraft spells, you need my witchcraft site, which is Stardust, and that's stardustspells.co.uk, for love spells included. Now, then, if you chose number two, this is for you. So, right, will you be lucky in love? Well, a whole lot luckier than you've been in the past. That's a dead cert. And some good messages from spirit. I think your spirit guides are guiding you to watch this video, number two. I think they've brought you here. You may feel that that's the case, that something made you go on YouTube and look for a video. Oh, well, I'm glad you chose mine. And I hope you'll stick with it for the stage 22 of the tarot course, which is after these short readings. I believe that somebody is about to, if they haven't already, I believe someone's about to propose to you, or you are about to propose to someone else. Now, this reading isn't strictly about marriage, but that's the way two of them seem to be turning out. So, I think somebody has swept you off your feet and if they haven't done so then they will soon so it's looking good and you can see by this card here which is obviously put out by your spirit guides the wheel of fortune is turning and it's turning in your favor number two the wheel of fortune turns and never stops but at the moment you're heading for a lucky period and because the question is about love then it will be about love if you watch this video about money it would be about money etc now, the old chestnut comes here. A lot of you, it's easy to say this in readings, but a lot of you are pregnant. A lot of you are planning to be pregnant. And some of you are pregnant and don't even know you are yet. But there is high fertility in this reading. It's one of the best readings I've seen for quite, quite a while, really. There is an offer coming your way, or you're going to make an offer. It's a romantic offer. It's a love offer. Most of the cup cards are about love, and that one there, of course, as you can see there, he may be making an offer. And the Knight of Cups is a lovey-dovey card, if you pardon the expression. One or two of you are trying for babies. One or two of you, number two, are already pregnant. And 
quite a few of you are already parents. So you're not all 18 or 19 years old, I don't think. Some of you are fairly mature. And some of you are in love with someone that you work with. Not all of you, of course. But some of you are in love with someone that is linked to your career. Maybe you met at work. Or maybe you met because of your work. But it's all looking good. I mean, this is... You can't really fault this reading. Number two, you're going to receive an offer. You're going to enter a lucky period. With most psychic readings, as I often say, good fortune is not automatic. It comes <clears throat> in the form of offers and opportunities. So you need to be a bit adventurous, not daft and stupid, but take a few chances and you'll turn your look for the better. You'll change your look for the better without too much effort. You're heading for a very lucky period. So let it in. Let love and luck flow into you. A lot of you have, uh, it's a totally separate subject, but one or two of you have pets that are not very well. And that may need to be sorted out. Nothing to do with the lucky and love question, but it, I've got to tell you what comes through the spirit world. And one or two of you are pet and animal lovers, and one of your pets may not be very well in the coming months. So keep your eye on that. And I think some of you are already good parents. I think some of you, number two, are single parents as well. That doesn't mean you'll stay like that forever. Of course, one of the reasons you're watching this video may be because you've not been lucky in love in the past. But I think that's changing now, number two, and I really believe that. So I'm glad you watched this with me. And please subscribe to my channel and click like and share me with your friends on social media, Facebook, etc. And please make some comments below, number two. And if you want a full-length reading, go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. Or if you want witchcraft, it's stardust, stardustspells.co.uk. Love spells and all sorts on there for you. If you chose number three, thank you for waiting around. I hope you ran the tape on. Tape? Is it a tape? The video on. Will you be looking in love? Again. Some of you are receiving offers, but this may not be to do with love. However, the person making the offer, I think is uh, one of these persons who stayed in her ways or stayed in his ways. They're predictable. They're on the dot. If they say they're going to ring you at eight o'clock, they will. I think that, that there's no love from that person yet, but it could develop into that. This is not as good as the other two readings that we've just done, number three. So it's up to you to change it. The beauty of having psychic readings is because you can pick out the negatives, or I will, and then you can avoid them. So if I said to you, you're going to get run over by a bus, you make sure you didn't. Not that I would say that, of course. So you can avoid the negatives and you can change things to a certain extent. You will not change everything. We're all heading for the same place. We just take different routes to get there. And we know where that is, don't we? So somebody around you is solid reliable, but a bit predictable. You may find he or she is a bit boring. A lot of you are at the moment guided by spirit very strongly. We're all guided by spirit all the time. But one or two of you, number three, are heavily influenced at the moment by a male spirit guide. It could be your dad or someone like that, or an old uncle you've lost, or an old male friend. It is a male. It's a person, not ancient, not 90 odd, but around about 60, maybe 70. I don't think they're too old. And they're in spirit, and they're watching you, and I think, once again, they've got you to watch this recording. So, one or two of you, number three, have an imbalance with your yin and yang. And I'm sure you know what yin and yang is, often referred to by acupuncturists and people like that. These are the energies of life that flow through us like electricity when you put a plug on an electrical appliance. Different colour wires. You have positive wires and negative wires. So you have positive energies and negative energies. And if your energies are out of balance, your yin and yang is out of balance, number three. And that is caused by stress. So you need to get your stress levels down. Whatever you like to do to relax, do it. Don't say it, do it. Make time for yourself. You need to chill out, stay cool. Like the Fonz. You remember the Fonz? Long time ago. I'm giving my age away now. So... Your yin and yang may be out, number three. Not all of you. None of this applies to all of you. But some of you will know that your yin and yang is out because you may be feeling like you're trying to be in ten places at once and everybody wants a little piece of you. 
and you're trying to please everyone and you just can't do it and you get worn out in the end. Now, the last reading I told the people in number two to be adventurous, but not to be reckless. But this reading, number three, you are being asked by spirit to take a real leap of faith, as indicated by the fool. See, the fool stands on the edge of a cliff ready to step off. The dog's watching him thinking, oh, don't do it, don't do it. But that doesn't mean you're a fool. It means you're willing to take a chance. You're willing to be adventurous. And you'll see the fool when we come to the major arcano in the tarot course that follows this. And it means that you, for the next few months, as far as your love life goes, because that's what this is about, will you be lucky in love? Take a few chances. Take a few risks. Don't go out on dates with people you can't trust. But be adventurous. Have a little leap of faith. That's the only way I can put this, really. So you have a solid person around you coming who may turn into a lover, but I don't, I'm not convinced he, will, he or she will. But they may want that eventually. I think as far as lucky in love goes, number three, the reading doesn't indicate that you'll be unlucky in love, but it doesn't really indicate that you're going to meet your soulmate and ride off into the sunset with he or she on a white horse like Cinderella or Snow White. But that is changeable because you can change it and it may mean changing your attitude, stop trying to please everybody because you won't do it. You, they may say you are, but you won't please everybody all the time. You can't please all the people all the time. So think about yourself without, of course, being selfish. Your spirit guides are here. One of them is watching you. So they're trying to guide you in the right direction. I think you've been wafting around like a, someone in a rowing boat who's lost one of the oars probably going round in circles with your love life, and it's time for you to change that. So you, number three, really need to make changes, and I know that you know what they are. So think about it. Thank you for watching that. Please subscribe to my channel. Share me with your friends on Facebook and so-and-so, and, -so and click like, please. And, and uh, if you want a psychic reading, a full one, go to David Charles Psychic at my website davidcharlespsychic.com and if I'm not free one of my team that work for me will help you and they're re really very good or they wouldn't be in my team. If you chose number four thank you for sticking around and we'll take a look at this one and as I always say a special hello to all of you watching this alone or lonely. You are thought about a lot and you can always watch me if you get fed or, or bored. Now then number four as you can see by the ace, aces mean beginnings normally. That can mean a brand new lover. So number four, some good stuff here for you in the coming months. Now, it may not be a brand new lover, but it may be a brand new love. In other words, you may be with someone you've known for years and suddenly you fall in love with her or him. You realize you're getting fluttery feelings. And when you hear this person's name, your heart skips a beat. And you start to wonder why, and it's because you're falling in love like a teenager with a crush. And it's lovely. It may be someone you know, or it may be a lover you've known for years, and you're rekindling the love you had years ago and making it new again. So it doesn't have to be a new person. But this reading number four indicates that you're going to be contented, you're going to feel rich inside, you're going to feel great if you go along with what's coming. Because there is an air of suspicion around you where people are concerned that are not telling you the full story. I don't think it's your lover, but somebody around you is hiding something. Could be a family member. Not necessarily a bad, a bad thing. They may be hiding things to avoid hurting your feelings. You're thinking about giving something up. Could be cigarettes, but it's probably a lover because this, is, this question is Will you be lucky in love? You may be thinking about giving a lover up because you are having feelings for somebody else. There could be several reasons for this. It doesn't mean that you'll do it, but you're thinking about giving something up. You may be thinking about giving up your job because somebody at work is paying you too much attention and you don't like it. But a new lover or an intensification of an existing love affair is predicted number four. So it's good. I think you'll feel really good inside. 
When you get up in the mornings and think of this person's name, you'll feel the flutter of love and good to be alive feeling. Instead of saying, oh, it's raining, you'll say, oh, it's raining. So you'll have an optimistic view. And um, the sun will be shining for you wherever you are. Watch out for people hiding things from you, especially if it's your lover. It's all right for me to say that, but you won't always know, of course. I don't see deceit. I don't see another woman or a man. I don't see cheating. In fact, I didn't see that in any of these readings tonight, which is good. Maybe today where you are. But if you're thinking about giving something up, number four, consider it carefully first. Don't just do it. Think about it. Because once you've given up something, especially if it's love, it's very hard to win it back with that person again. And I always say, or nearly always say, don't go backwards in love anyway. <coughs> so, thank you for watching that and listening to me. Please subscribe to my channel and share me with your friends on Facebook and social media and click like below. And if you want a full-length psychic reading, go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. If you need witchcraft, it's stardust, stardustspells.co.uk. So, in a few moments, we're going to start stage 22 of the Old England Tarot School Diploma course. And we're looking today at the Eight of Cups, and it's a very interesting card. So if you want to know what the Eight of Cups means properly, stick with me, and I'll see you, I'll get it all ready for you, and I'll see you in just a few seconds. Take care. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with me. Now we're, do, we're moving on to stage 22, 22 already, of the Old England Tarot School Diploma course, which was designed by myself and my partner many years ago, around 20 odd years ago. And today we're looking at the Eight of Cups. Now I'm going to use notes for this because it's very intense and I'll, I don't want to forget things. So excuse me if I'm reading some of my own notes from years ago. The Eight of Cups, and there you see a chap walking away from his cups that are filled from the river. And this card encompasses abandonment. The Eight of Cups is a severing of ties, especially ties regarding the past, in order to search for new ground. It doesn't mean you've found new ground, it means you're searching for new ground, if the reading is for you. Of course, you have to think about this if you're giving a reading once you've learned this course, because you'll learn tarot properly on this course. If there's indications of trouble brewing, you, trouble brewing, you may have been ignoring it. Cutting all connections, either with persons or situations, may seem the only way out. But take care not to be too hasty. Walking away, abandoning events, abandoning at things may leave the querent with a feeling that a weight's been lifted off, off the shoulders. Consequently, leaving security and financial business ties needs careful thought. Of course it does. <coughs> You need to work out the direction you want to pursue. You may feel the need to move on in order to gain strength and in order to be happy. <coughs> a psychologist once told me that when a group is ready to break up, you get subtle hints. People may show up a bit late or give off little signs that they're getting discontented. They may seem a bit restless. They may arrive late, communicate less and seem a bit distracted. At some level, the participants know it's time to move on, but they need a while to work up, well, maybe work up the courage to do it, to take the final step. The process applies to many situations where ending is approaching. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing is permanent in this world, in life. Sooner or later, everything slips away. Or we slip away from it. And the Eight of Cups stands for these moments when you realise once and for all that the past has actually gone. What was true is no longer true, and it is indeed time for you or the querent to move on. Moving on can mean physical changes such as leaving a job. It can mean location, leaving a location or relationship. It can mean inner change or releasing old patterns, especially those that have dominated your thoughts for years and your emotions. You see the man leaving, he's going on a journey on this card. He's turned away from his old feelings. He's striking out a new path. Sometimes moving on can mean searching for deep, deeper soul, deeper things in your own soul, deep in, deep in with your own spirit guides. 
you're getting deeper and closer to your spirit guides, you're looking for the truth, you're looking for reality. One day you'll wake up and realize that you've been asleep in your own thoughts, asleep in your own lives, living a dream that no longer really exists. So, some changes can make you tired, endings are not always easy, one of the signs of readiness to leave is a lack of energy. You'll just feel lethargic. When you feel tired and dispirited, you'll know that something's wrong. It's a time for a new direction, to re-examine your life and your priorities, and find out where your life needs to be and move to it. It's not a desperately sad card, although it may sound it. The moving on can bring better things. A few key words. See seeking deeper meaning. Leaving the rat race, it can mean. Focusing on personal truth and working with your spirit guides, because they're there to help you. Starting a journey of discovery, exciting. Concentrating on what's important, realising that the current cycle is over. You've got to realise that when you see this card. Abandoning hopeless situations. You think, I've had enough of this, and you let it go. Disentangling yourself, starting on a trip. Finding that you're actually walking away. You're growing weary, you feel drained, and you're dragging yourself through the day if you're not careful. You feel tired and listless, you lack energy. Getting weight or weighed down by your worries, becoming burned out. These are signs that you need to follow the instructions of, a number of this Eight of Cups and move on. Don't be sad. Leave all the rubbish behind you. As I said, nothing lasts forever and it's time for you to move on. If the car's back to front or upside down or reverse, as some people call it, you may feel dissatisfied at the present with romantic situations. <clears throat> you may be being indecisive or feeling trapped. You may feel abandoned from an old lover and it's an impossible relationship and it's not an advisable place to be. So I don't do upside down cars unless I'm actually specifically asked to, but it's not a good card upside down. But the card, the Eight of Cups means Severing ties of the past to search for fresh ground. Doesn't mean you found it, you're searching for it. And of course, this will be a lot more detailed when I do this all in writing for you to download later on. It is a massive project. So thank you for staying with me. Special thank you if you're all alone watching this. And please subscribe to my channel and make some comments down below and share me with your friends on Facebook and social media. And click like. And if you want a, a proper psychic reading, a full length one, Go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com, and if I'm not free, one of the team that work for me will help you, and they're excellent. And if you need witchcraft for love or anything else, go to my website, Stardust, and it's called stardustspells.co.uk. Thank you for watching this. Next time, we're going to do stage 23 of the Old England Tarot School course, and you'll like that, of course, the Nine of Cups, and it really is a special one. So I hope to see you soon, and I'll... Catch you later. See you soon. Bye-bye.